Hello, beautiful people. Before we get into the video, I want to say that this is not meant to bully, harass, or harm anybody. Anything I say is to be taken as a joke. I'm not a lawyer. Don't take my advice. Good luck. I have some pretty important messages at the end of this video, and if you don't want to watch, don't watch. But if you do want to watch, there may or may not be a face reveal in the end. So after a few turtles and a few mushrooms, Mario ended up in the wrong castle. And we're here to watch this unfold. Where are you at? I have to go change out of my clothes, okay? Okay. Just hang out the bar for a second. I'll be right back down. I just have on like a jacket and a thermal and a t-shirt and another thermal and like 80,000 pounds of clothing. <laughs> it's a little late to be prowling around these parts, huh? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Why don't you have a seat right over here for me? Dude, his mood changed fucking quick. I remember when I was 15, playing Mario. Now Mario's trying to play with a 15-year-old. Isn't that wild how things turn out? All right, thanks. Right there on the stool. Appreciate it. What's happening? Not a whole lot. How you doing? Good. How are you? Not bad. What are you up to tonight? Not a whole lot. What are you doing here? Uh, a friend asked me to come over. A friend? And who's that friend? Um, a girl. A girl. What's the girl's name? Um, I'm not sure. How about Sadie? Does that sound familiar? Well, yeah, that's what she said. Yeah. yeah. And how old is Sadie? Uh, 18. 18? Mm-hmm. That's what she said on the phone. That's what she said on the phone? Yeah. What did she say on the internet? She said 15 or 16, but I said, no, you gotta be 18. Really? Yeah. Now, do you want to rethink that and tell the <clears throat> truth this time, or do you want to stick with that story? Well, I kind of... He looks so proud of his lie. <laughs> like, he thinks he's getting away with it. Kind of figured something was going on. You did? Yeah. So that was a big lie about the 18 thing that you just said. Well, I don't remember. I was talking to quite a few people. It's almost 2.30 in the morning. How far did you travel tonight to be here? I came from Columbus. Columbus? Mm hmm What did that take you to get down here from Columbus? Mm, I don't know. Probably a couple hours. A couple hours? Uh-huh. This guy drove hours to meet a 15-year-old child. Bro, he deserves to be locked the fuck up. Hand him straight to Bowser, bro. <laughs> That's a long ride mm -hmm. at this time of night. Yes, sir. What makes a man get in a car and drive two hours? I don't know. Just somebody want to meet me and I want to meet them, I guess. At two o'clock in the morning. Well, I didn't really want to. I mean, how old are you? I'm 42. You're 42. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. Lo I mean, I'm not looking for. I mean, to like do anything or anything. I got boys that are 20 and 21, sir. Sons. Yes, sir. What if one of your kids was home alone and some guy walked in the back door just yeah. all happy as heck to be here? To be honest have, with have you. A seat. To be honest with you, I wouldn't like it. Sorry. I'm just nervous. What made you think it was okay at 42 years old to walk into a home at uh, roughly 2.30 in the morning where a 15-year-old girl was apparently home alone? Well, I wouldn't for sure if she was 15 or not, to be honest. Well, that's what she said on the internet. You're only 15, a little young for this, aren't you? Yep, I'm 15, and no, I'm not. Okay. Are you still a virgin? <laughs> stupid question for an older man to ask a girl like that. Oh, it's a stupid question to ask a 15-year-old. Yeah, no shit, dumbass. You just asked a 15-year-old girl if she was a virgin. What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> she says, well, I'm not telling anyone if you won't. My mom would have a freaking cow. Well, don't worry, it's our secret. Well, I can come over there. Is the parents gone? Again, you say, you gotta promise me you're not like 5-0. That's the police, Cops, right? right? Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna get locked up. Looks like I'm going to. And me sucking your little sweet spot. <laughs> this being stupid. I love that this guy is just trying to act like he didn't actually do anything wrong. He's just like, yeah, I was playing stupid. I was just being retarded with this 15-year-old two hours away from me just so I could drive over and say hello. Okay, dude, nobody's believing your fucking story. I don't even think Yoshi would believe your shit. The fuck does Luigi think right now? Wait until Peach finds out you've been cheating. Bro, she's sleeping with Bowser tonight. I want to taste you for real. <laughs> God, man, I 
But baby 15 can get me 20. Yeah, it probably can. It probably will. 15 can get me 20. Bro calculated all this shit in his head and still went for it. <laughs> you ever do any time before me? Um, uh, very little time for some DUI. But, DUI? Yeah. Not, nothing like this, sir. God, man. You ever do this sort of thing before? No. This is the first time i ever done something like this. First time. Am I under arrest, sir? You're not under arrest, no, not now as we speak. Okay, thank you. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the Internet. All right. Now, if there's something else you'd like to tell us, no. we'd like to hear it. If not, obviously, you're, you're free to leave. Thank you. Bro could have made a quick escape. He could have jumped to that painting behind him. Long gone. Never would have been found again. <clears throat> Lewis, come on, I'm gonna read your eyes, okay? Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Coming up. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law. At the end of uh, the Ohio investigation, yeah, right we knew... He tries to convince the detective he had no intention of having sex with a 15-year-old. You would like me to believe that um, you just traveled 112 miles for uh, a couple of hours. A couple you know hours what? Ride. I would like just, you to believe that. Just to visit a 15-year-old girl. Yep whose parents aren't home and you want her to keep that a secret? Yep. Okay. And you want, you still have me believe that despite the fact I have Chad in here about you talking about, are you wet yet? I well, I'd like this. for you to think the better half of me, but you got what you got there and it's not, doesn't look good on me. So he was only sentenced eight months for this and he had to be a registered sex offender for 10 years, which is kind of bullshit. I think he should have been charged a lot longer, but anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for hitting a thousand subscribers. It genuinely means so much to me that we hit this fucking number. It's insane that we hit a thousand subscribers. That's four digits. That's four digits of people. That's a lot of fucking people. I know you guys want a face reveal and we hit a really large milestone. It, it was the biggest one I was looking forward to. I genuinely didn't even think I was going to hit it, but given time we did. And I'm very, very happy at where I am right now on YouTube. And I honestly didn't expect to go over a thousand at all, period. Like, genuinely, I didn't think that it would happen. But it's such a big milestone that you guys genuinely deserve something. So at a million subscribers, I'll do a face reveal. I gotta keep it unrealistic, so I, you know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And a very special thank you to Etsuko was taken. Love you. I see you on every video. I just only give one subscriber a shout out per video. And if you want the next one, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.